and we're moving on. Okay, now, next, let's see, we need to add a little bit more pizzazz to our project here, and I have a pen here that's got glitter right in the ink. And so with this one, I'm going to accent the stripes that are across Gilly's hat, and also over here on my spider. I want to jazz up the spider web just by outlining the spider web and then the spider himself. I just think he should be all glittered up. He's so snazzy. And his little feet. And it's very, very easy to add detail work with a pen. And there are different brands out there. They work really well and they come in different colors. So you can add <coughs> gold, silver, uh, this is a multicolor. There are multiple different brands out there. There are also different glue pens on the market. Suppose I wanted to sign my name with glitter. I could do that. This is just the glue and then I could sprinkle over my favorite color of glitter and have that done. Let's see. The last thing I want to do here is to add something that you might have seen called stickles. And stickles is a glitter glue. Now this already comes with the gl glue in it and the glitter is actually um, suspended in the emulsion and so I'm going to add this to the a few places here on both of these. The only disadvantage to this is that it has to dry before you can touch it and I'm going to use orange and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and bring out the colors of the pumpkin and the hat band and you're going to see on my other ones where this is all finished um, up here on the witch's hat band there we go and let that dry a little bit um, I'll come back in a minute and add that to my the rest of my project, but I'm going to let that sit and dry for a minute. I'm going to show you my pumpkin. I picked up this pumpkin at the dollar store, and it was just a plain, simple little orange pumpkin. And I want to show you a couple of my other favorite tools for working with glitter. This is a, a, a glitter buddy or a... a Mm, it has rosin is inside of it anyway. Um, this works really well. You can also use cornstarch or baby powder and it stops glitter supposedly from sticking to everything. And it does a really good job of wiping things up. Um, and you put it on your project before you start to work with it and then the glitter doesn't stick where it's not supposed to. So that works really well with glitter or embossing powder. So I'm using that. Then I went all over my pumpkin with three different kinds of adhesive. And I used the red line tape right here on the wide part. Then I used score tape because that was the quarter inch size that I had for this part of it. And then I used an eighth inch tape to put these patterns on. And in the interest of time, I went ahead and just peeled those off and used glitter and sprinkled it on. I'm going to show you just how I did that. I left this section right here for you to be able to see. And I used this gorgeous cinnabar color for my center section. And once you peel off that outer coating or that paper, it leaves you with this gorgeous sticky coating and you can just kind of flick it and look how pretty that is. Then you can go around and add your design of choice all the way around your pumpkin. And I wanted my pumpkin to be beautiful for the all of fall, not just Halloween. So I that's why I chose all those fall colors. Now my next part of this is to add a glue dot. And you'll notice I've got some gold spots up here. This is just a thick glue dot. And I'm going to stick it right here on the top. And, oh boy, it's an aggressive one. Come off of there. And then I'm going to come back and add this beautiful yellow glitter right on there. And don't be afraid to be real generous with it because you're going to be able to pick it all back up and put it back in your bottle. And press it in tight. And nothing is sticky after your glitter gets on it. Isn't that cool? Okay, now what other tips did I want to share with you about glitter? Ah, cleaning it up. 
because everybody knows that once you work with glitter, you're going to have it all over the place, right? Well, here's my two favorite tips for cleaning things up with the glitter. Number one is in your hardware store, you're going to find something called a tack cloth. T-A-C-K. It's around on this side of the package. T-A-C-K. And you're going to find it where they work with wood. And it looks like this. It's actually a um, um, cheesecloth. And it's been dipped in some kind of linseed oil or something. And you can wipe things up. And it picks up all the glitter that was left laying around. Ta-da! Just like that. You can use it over and over and over and over and over again until it gets really gross. And then you throw it away and get a new one. My other favorite thing is lint picker uppers. This is a lint, um, you know, the thing that you would use on a lint remover sheet. And it works on your hands, it works on your clothes, it works on your desk, it works on your projects, it works everywhere. It's really sticky, it picks up all the things that you leave laying around, and it's awesome, and then you throw it away. So, my other two favorite tricks right there. Okay, let's put our project together. Like I said, I didn't really want this to be a permanent Halloween pumpkin, but I wanted it to be awesome. So I measured around the circumference of my pumpkin. It's 15 inches. So I made a whole bunch of gillies and huggables. And I'm going to add these guys to my border. I cut out a, a pumpkin border and then I'm going to just kind of slide this over the edge of my desk, which you can't see because it's right out of camera range, but it makes it bend just a little bit. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of double face tape right to the back and secure this right here. And one more. And we have a project. And it is so cute. And now we can take this banner and go all the way around our pumpkin, round our pumpkin, and he is all set. Oh, come on around. All set for Halloween. And then when I'm all finished with Halloween, he will then be all ready for Tim the Turkey. So I hope that you will make something fun and glamorous and glittery and enjoy your all the new tips and tricks that you learned. This is Betty B and thank you for coming by today. Bye bye now.